Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, May 10th. So my goodness, last night, futures were just kind of all over the place. I At one point I looked, they were up 100 points, and another time I looked, they were down nearly 100 points. We've been fluctuating all over the place, and this morning, um, we're also fluctuating. Um, we have gone from negative to positive, back to negative. Right now, as I'm speaking, we're down about 80 points in the futures. And we have just been, just minutes ago, we were actually positive on the futures. So, uh, just back and forth here. It's a little bit hard to uh, put your finger on what's going to happen today. So, let's take a look at um, what the charts tell us. Now, we know that tariffs have increased from US, the U.S. tariffs on China. China has yet to respond. And trade negotiations are continuing in Washington, D.C. So just kind of an odd mix. And then, and then we toss in, you know, the rising tensions with North Korea and Iran. It's really difficult to know what to do ahead of the weekend. We know anything could, could happen over the weekend. And um, just pretty darn difficult to, um, to be able to handle... Um, handle that risk of the weekend and know what to do how much risk to carry forward into the weekend futures at this moment are falling pretty quickly we're now down 90 points in the in the dow futures and uh continuing to fall as i continue to speak here so let's take a look at the charts let's ignore the futures and let's just take a look at the charts and see what the charts are telling us now we had um, these levels that I've drawn in here, um, um, they have have a purpose. And if you take a look right back here, this level, right across here, we were picking up some of these low points and high points in that chart. And that was a support level that we dropped through yesterday. And unfortunately, saw some pretty significant selling. And um, I placed a, a little support level right here in the chart and uh, amazingly we bounced uh, directly uh, I mean within a few ticks of, of that line now please keep in mind anytime I draw a line they really should be a really fat line because it's an area not an exact line or exact point but we bounced right off of there and came right back up here into that price resistance level now we're we're kind of bouncing around all over the place in here and you, as you can see we're looking at a little well just a little bit of a gap down not not a, a major move or anything like that a little bit of a gap down a little bit of tension here in the market uh, trying to figure out what to do with itself and we will want to respect this price resistance um, in the chart now I think the major price resistance that we'll want to watch is this one here we could bounce right back up through here probably not have too much of a problem but as we approach uh, this resistance level in here we'll want to watch that pretty closely and keep in mind that resistance level could be between there and there that's how fat a line that could really be so um somewhere in this re areas in this region is where we're going to be watching for some price resistance if we do rally up so kind of keep that in mind and obviously we have resistance levels above that if we can get a trade deal if things start to really clear up we could certainly start moving right back up into these resistance levels in the chart so watch those closely now, on the other side, if we were to falter, and right now I'm not expecting that um, based on what I'm seeing in the futures, and I think we are a, just a little bit oversold in the very short term. But if we were to see a little bit of um, selling coming in, one of the things we obviously don't want to see is if we fail through here, we could have some serious problems 
in the market. And I would say if we fail here, I would probably hang a target on the Dow somewhere around 25,000, which would be a pretty painful slide, but could certainly occur if we lose this level of support. Once again, I would say I'm not expecting that um, at all today. Could we gap down through there or, or move through there um, during the weekend um, on Monday morning? I think that's entirely possible, but um, we'll want to um, pay attention to that closely. Um, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY uh, did almost exactly the same thing. Holding, holding, we, we dropped down through this price support, and I was a little bit worried about that chart that we might uh, sink all the way down into this area right off of these um I'm just going to grab all, grab this low line and pull it up here um, down into this um, area. But we found some support kind of in the middle here and and picked up and just kind of picking a little bit of price right in through here and holding on to that. Now, that does leave me a little concerned. When I see prices kind of floating out here in mid air, um, that makes me a little bit worried. So regaining this was certainly okay if we could hold it but as you can see this morning we're gapping down below that so we're going to need to see those bulls come in and, and hold us above this area um, and that would be uh, perfectly acceptable obviously that's what we want to see but if they're unable to do that then I would suggest uh, stopping right here in the middle doesn't make a whole lot of sense we could easily drift all the way down here into that level so hopefully that doesn't occur but that's one of the things we want to watch for and of course if we do rally we're going to want to keep a pretty close eye on these resistance levels up here in the chart um, as we push back up all right let's take a look at the cues cues dropping through a couple layers yesterday of support but what's interesting is we got that nice bounce back and we're holding up so i think we're doing okay here again we're gapping down a little bit this morning uh, based on what's going on um, and i think we're going to be okay here as long as we hold on to some price levels in here um, if we were to slip below that we could see some substantial selling in the nasdaq but hopefully that's not the case and once again resistance levels are pretty clear um, here in this chart and we'll want to pay attention to those as we um, if we start to rally IWM, pretty strong selling yesterday for a uh, period and then a really nice bounce, bouncing off of this level of price support. I think that's a good thing that um, we, we um, held there because this could have been substantially worse had it not bounced. And our pullback this morning that we're getting is still holding above that level. So I think the IWM is um, in a pretty good position right here with some protection underneath. Now, if we do sink and, and lose this level, then I would say it might be a fairly quick trip down to here. But right now, um, I'm going to use this as um, pretty substantial right now for support. And because we're just a little bit oversold um, in the very short term of the market, um, I would expect more of just... Um, institutional support trying to prevent you know that that really big catastrophic sell-off to occur here on friday but we'll we'll have to wait and see you know price is price price is king we just have to watch that price and follow along so um, let's take a look at the vix and this is one of the reasons why i say we're just short term oversold um, we rallied really strongly up here reaching a 23 handle here on the vix and you can see pulling back there toward the end of the day on that nice rally i think any pullback um, down into here or down into here we'll have to watch carefully if we happen to catch these areas of support and begin to rally back off of those i would be really concerned then about the market because that's when we get these really big fear spikes um, that can cause a lot of damage really fastly really quickly i mean to say in charts 
So watch that close. But um, if we if we start to diminish this just a little bit, if a trade deal comes through, who knows? You know, um, we're fighting this battle in Twitter and and um, in the media, and su- such a news driven market is so erratic and so difficult um, to trade. You just have to be really really careful. And and for me, I've just I've just reduced my trading dramatically. I'm not doing much trading at all as this goes on because I feel I have no edge in the market because we get these instant swings in the market on any kind of uh, news report or tweet or whatever. So um, there's no edge here unless you're a really, really quick uh, day trader. Let's take a look at uh, T21. 22 t21 22 four week new high new low ratio here's another one of those reasons why we say we might short term we might be just a little bit oversold and um as we continue to push down this morning uh, dow futures are now down 100 points so we could um, end up opening right down in here in what i call the bullish reversal zone and um, down in this area we we start to look for um, good signs positive signs of that potential relief rally now the, a relief rally doesn't mean we shoot all the way back up and it's i know that's what um, the market has been doing lately it's just been an all or nothing market but um, um, a relief rally can be um, a nice little relief and show signs of moving back up, but then uh, turn back lower. So we want to watch that close. Watch those support and resistance levels closely and see how those buyers or sellers are reacting in those price charts and around those levels. So let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar does have an item that could move us around a little bit. We have kind of a parade of Fed speakers today, as you can see, we're uh, lots of Fed speaking going on. And um, as um, I mentioned, this, this report right here, the CPI report, probably the most likely to move the market around today, um, comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, so we'll have to watch for that. There's also the Treasury budget at 2 p.m. today, unlikely to move the market at all. So watch that. We have about 120 or so companies reporting earnings today, and they're coming in really, really quick this morning. The majority of them reporting here in the morning. And... Um, um, as they continue to roll in, obviously, they can have some effect on the market. So pretty wild price action right now in the futures. We're now down 110 points and continuing to show pressure to the downside here all of a sudden. So lots of back and forth here. It's just pretty darn rough um, to know um, what to do um, in this market. Now, let's take a look and and just um remember that um we don't have to trade every day to be successful you know one of the things that i learned a long time ago sometimes less is more um we do ourselves a disservice by thinking we have to trade every single day and fight the market every single day when we don't have an edge. So if you feel you don't have an edge, if you feel you don't have a grasp on what's going on um, in the market, um, protect that capital. You don't have to you don't have to put it at risk today. Wait for your edge to return. We know that eventually the market will calm down, things will even out, and we'll have really good signals for potential trades. We don't have to fight the market every single day. So kind of keep that in mind. So with that, hey, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys have just been so awesome at that. I just... I uh, can't tell you how much I appreciate everyone who takes the time to leave those comments. You're just awesome. And yesterday, I want to apologize. I was so busy. I didn't get a chance to really respond to a lot of those comments other than just giving them thumbs up. I didn't get a chance to write back, but thank you so much. And I, I should be able to um, respond a little bit better today. So thank you very, very much for everyone who takes the time to do that. It means a ton to me. By the way, also feel free to share these videos with any friends or family um, on your 
Twitter feed, on your whatever. It's it's open for everyone to use. Let's take a look at a few charts that are looking just pretty darn good here and um, have held up really well during this sell-off. And that makes me want to watch them pretty closely because when we, if we do, when and if we do get a bounce, these are the charts I might be looking to for potential trades. One being um, MDLZ. MDLZ, just a beautiful pattern here. This is one of those defensive sector companies um, where we popped up pulled back and now we're holding right in here we're holding trend we're looking really good beautiful morning star pattern um, on the candle patterns looking really really good so you might want to watch mdlz for more upside move um, here in the near future um, we'll have to wait and see how this market responds but it, um, it's looking pretty decently here um, RCL RCL um, Royal Caribbean cruises uh, kind of surprising um, that cruise lines are, are looking so strong right now but this has held up really well during uh, the market sell-off and you can see gapped on earnings and now just sliding sideways over toward the trend I think anywhere in here if this gets some energy and pops out there may be more upside here in RCL so you might want to keep an eye on that um, GE boy GE um, after breaking this long 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 downtrend uh, moving up above that downtrend trying to pull back and hold some price support in here this is not ready uh, to trade just yet I don't think but could certainly be setting up soon so it might be something to watch and one for your watch list and please keep in mind that any of these charts that I mentioned are not a, um, a recommendation to buy or sell they are just simply uh, charts that uh, I'm paying attention to that I'm watching pretty closely and would be looking for um, um, entries if they set up, if and when they set up, because I, I never know exactly when they might trigger and take off. If you guys remember, I have been um, mentioning LMT, LMT as a chart for uh, some time now, and LMT happened to make that pop and and go yesterday looking really really good here and i would suggest um, a target up here in this area so you might want to watch that closely i don't know if it's going to follow on through if it gets another rest in here but watch lmt nice chart um, one that i've been uh, mentioning here pretty regularly as a potential and uh, nice to see it finally taking off here hey take a look at ford now i've been mentioning ford as well um, and i believe ford received an upgrade today getting a little bit of a pop this morning so watch this chart um, ford breaking this long downtrend breaking through some substantial resistance areas looking pretty solid here so watch this price pattern if ford starts getting some energy um, we might see that move on through so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you a great weekend guys i know this has been a really really challenging week and it's a bummer when things like this happen the thing is don't put this on you because this was completely out of our control. You may have lost some money, you may have, uh, have made some money, but please understand, um, when, when events like this occur, it was completely out of our control. We went into Friday last week feeling pretty happy and good about the market. Everything was looking good. As a matter of fact, the news was kind of telling us that we might expect a, a trade, um, a trade deal, um, by today. Um, if you remember, and then, you know, Sunday, everything uh, changes and the market shifts and we have this ugliness. So um, one of the things that I see a lot happen, happen with traders and particularly new traders, they they get into a week like this and they and they um, they put it all on themselves. Well, I'm so, uh, you know, I, I'm terrible at this. Well. That's not the case. The market is completely out of control right now, and it's it's almost impossible to hold on to any kind of an edge for a trade. So, one of the things that you have to have to do though is you have to recognize when these events occurs, and then just back off your trading, just back off and protect that capital, save that money, and wait for those better days to come. Don't fight a market like this, or think you can predict it because it is so unpredictable. Um, 
And anytime we get this news-driven, intensely um, emotional market, we we can we can flip and shift on a dime. So. Um, watch that closely and don't wear that around your neck as well I'm a terrible trader um, make sure you understand that sometimes the market is just like that and you have to recognize it and just back off so everyone have an awesome awesome weekend I appreciate you all very much take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you bright and early Monday morning have a great weekend